Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at NECA's Napoleon and Attila, part of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon series of figures. Now, these two frogs are identical to the other two frogs, almost, so this is going to be a little bit of a quicker review, but I still need to give you all the information you might need in order to decide to buy them or not. So let's go ahead and get them off the stand and take a closer look. These guys stand just about 13 and a half centimeters, which makes them pretty close to, let's say, five and a three eighths inches tall. I don't know if I said the exact same thing for the other review, but that's based on how they're posed exactly. So you get the idea. They're fairly short. They're in line with the turtles pretty much. Now, these guys are identical figures across each other. They have the same round necklace. The other two had a triangular necklace, and these guys are the same sculpt. They just have different paint. They are the same to the other figures outside of the necklace, again, other than the paint. These two have the stripes, the other ones had the dots. Quality of paint is even across the board, so I don't need to go across that. And so we're just gonna use the one figure for the review. We're gonna set this guy aside. Uh, aesthetically speaking, these guys are really well done. The stripes are handled wonderfully, just like the dots were on the other guys. I like that the stripes do get the two-tone treatment, unlike the dots. That's a good thing. The skin still gets the two-tone, the clothes do, everything does. It's very well done. The spots on the face are clean. The lines are really clean on the stripes. I love that. They did a good job with the black line work everywhere. So very pleased. All in all, a really solid sculpt, really solid paint job. Can't complain. Nine out of 10 for the aesthetic. Uh, for the accessories, I don't know which one is which off the top of my head, so I'm just going to go by light and dark. Uh, they do both get gripping hands on them in the package. Uh, they do both get both heads though they're not on them in the package, they both have the same two heads. They do both have a regular frog version. And then the light guy has two thumbs up hands and two gripping hands, and the dark skin guy has the um, cowabunga hands and fist hands. We get a photo album, which is really cool, very nicely done. We get two money sacks, and then we get, I guess this is a morning star, right? Is that a morning star, or is it a mace? A mace? A mace has a chain, a morning star doesn't? I don't remember, you guys can let me know. And then we get a whip, which is a bendy whip, and that's pretty cool. That's it for the accessories. That's a fair batch. I do think we should get fist hands for both of them, but again, that's still a good batch of accessories, so I'm gonna go nine out of 10. Now, they do have the exact same articulation as the other two figures, so I'm not gonna go through all of it. I'm gonna point out a couple of things. If you want to, check out that other review for the other two frogs, and you'll be able to see what the articulation is. I don't wanna waste your time. I do wanna note, though, they do have the bicep swivel, like I mentioned in the other video, but theirs were stuck. This guy's works nicely, and it is a good joint. It's well hidden, and it's perfectly functional. That's good. These guys have this one has average to loose hips this one has as you saw in the beginning very very loose hips so it seems that that's going to be purely luck of the draw purely random based on whatever you got from the factory so they may have very very loose hips they may not i can't say for sure because it's going to differ differ from figure to figure but that's the way it goes with these ball pegs uh neca is hopefully going to work on that as they continue to add them to more figures but that's definitely a problem if it's going to continue to be a problem so uh now you know now you know what these figures look like and what they come with and you can decide if you want to buy the set of four frogs or just two or not now you have all the information so there it is guys thanks for watching again if you haven't seen the other review covering the articulation it's going to be up there in the corner and you can check out all the four frogs together in the photos at the end here uh, but that'll do it so thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed you might want to i have new videos almost every single day and thousands already on the channel so make sure you come back for all of that and in the meantime keep collecting